Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Long War of the Chosen playthrough. Legendary Iron Man of course, where we're trying to play as far as we want, can, within uh, the mod and are hopefully giving Advent a good run for their money operation. Secret Shroud is the next uh, thing to do. You know that we want to liberate India and we want to liberate Australia and this year is definitely going to be a tough one as we're uh, trying to get through the regional um, headquarter and we need to do the network tower before we do that. Uh, the uh, Grey Knights, uh, Grey Knights um, squad number two going through this so a very experienced uh, set of individuals but they need to take up 21 enemies so it's not going to be easy let's go okay our idea will be On the move. to infiltrate the tower once again but hopefully But hopefully we're going to do it in style with two people. Drenks and Johnny would be the right um, two to Don't take care on. of that. And the rest will try to acquire this building here. I'm all over it. And the core idea then would be no we're trying to sneak by and are going to hack. It's not going to be easy because we need to make sure that we're not being detected. But generally speaking, we should be fine. The reason why I'm not just going to take the Shinobi in is there is typically a pack or two at uh, the destination. That's typically a pack or two at the destination and that really makes it difficult um, to get something uh, to get something done alone. Orders confirmed on the move. Can't sneak by with drinks. But with Oscar Mike, he can switch sides relatively quickly. Confirmed. On Overwatch. Headed there now. I'm on it. And the rest stays put. It's now a matter of just carefully advancing. Okay. Uh, a bit dangerous here. There might be someone behind. Moving out. I've got enemy movement here. Let's use the Shinobi to figure out if that's the case. They have the smaller detection radius. Okay, there is one pack. Heading to that location. <laughs> that would be funny, but we're not going to do that. We're not here for funny, we're here uh, to because we mean business. <clears throat> Slipping by all of uh, the different pots isn't easy. Oh, there's another one up here. Well, that's a massive, def uh, massively defended. 
um, house right there. And these guys are being jerks at the moment. Yeah, I can't really move anywhere. Unless they are willing to let us go. Matter of fact, I'll move a little bit back because they might be moving into our direction and then that would require us to move behind this airship. <coughs> Lots of hit points. We have definitely and thoroughly reached uh, the level where our magnetic weapons need an upgrade. I need coil in order to make that one work. Game did not show us where the enemy was moving to. tension <coughs> because we're being blocked off the only entrance to that building and unless they are moving in which I don't think they will do well I stand corrected they are indeed moving in but we need to take our Sweet, uh, we need to keep our sweet distance here. It is okay if they are kind of moving in, that would even make our job a little bit easier. But if they are coming back into our direction, that's an immediate no no. Two Centurions and two Vipers. It's just a lot of hit points that I'm seeing. <coughs> Carefully moving up. I cannot see that we're bypassing them on this side, so. Okay, the other pack also go here. That's the most ten, uh, uh, tense part of the entire mission, just finding ways of moving. Okay, they are now on the rooftop. Moving to designated position. Okay. turn and then it's go time
now this guy can definitely scout us out if we're moving in I'm on the move target in range move to hack the command console on overwatch let's see if we could move on to the command console without this pack detecting us really becoming a risk versus reward scenario look I mean hitting these three guys here in itself is already valuable but it would be even more valuable if we could already go in hack and do something afterwards so Roger. Got my eyes on. as crazy as it sounds <clears throat> Let's just stand here for one more round and hope that these guys are moving to here. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Okay, let's calmly think that through. I do a, we do have an I do have a small idea for that. Haha -ha. Broke line of sight. On the move. Shoop. Moves over. They are all here, right? Heading there now. Okay, now we do have a problem with you. Let's see if this works. Oh, yeah. spotted here can't jump down either because this here is equally spotted terrain <clears throat> you fools why didn't you just stay there yeah can't get closer yet Roger. Setting weapon, and we're good. Dranks can move back down. He could also be the one hacking. Wrapped up here. Unless, unless we're doing that, and that, 
And that. Got it. Which is a bit of a weird way to completely avoid <clears throat> line of sight. Overwatch. I want the perfect start and I hope I'm not gambling too wild in order to get that. These guys are down here, we can move in. Opening the door. I mean, listen, we could go in, but nah, not worth it. We're rather staying in cover. If we move over here. Moving to designated coordinates. Okay. <clears throat> That'll give us a better way in. Eyes on the prize. I'm on it. Where they won't be able to immediately detect us. And now they're in a bit of a pickle because they, of course, want to scout us out here, right? Well, they're putting themselves in the typical position. But we've been smart. Insert DJ Caleb meme. You're smart. Um, and Rolling. we're basically moving to here. Next turn it's on, <coughs> hunker down for now. Orders confirmed, moving out. Moving up, nothing. Moving further up, still nothing. Sniper wants the high ground. Two, four. We're giving it to them. And look, Synapse could take high ground as well. That's not a problem. These guys soon, hopefully, will die. We've been spotted. Okay. Anyone got the password? Time for the initial system hack. They are over here. Okay, I'll go. Let's start on this side. And you guys definitely need a flamethrower. All right, moving into the uh, the mutant. They are the biggest problem because we can't just kill them, <coughs> unfortunately. Killing the mech. 
30 points of damage. Okay. All right. Whatever you say. Moves to here. We need the max need to die first. Uh, Gunner is also a good uh, target. Let's start with him. Okay, good first turn. <coughs> Very good first turn. The only thing that I have missed on that first turn was to throw an evac to actually get us out of here. <coughs> this is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Cyclic fire on the Mac. Need to get it down. So little hit points. can only hit the scout and we don't need to do that but we could <coughs> move to here <coughs> and shoot over On my way. moving as close as possible to the next pack because that's where we're going Could hit this next turn. We could hit this next turn. Reaper. Six, seven. This guy definitely needs to die. You want some more? Seven to eleven. Okay. Might be another kill. Nope. Despite the mini vulnerability, not down. But the burning finally got him. Enemies are no longer shut down. But they're still <coughs> bound there to their current location. Oh wow, there are still a lot of enemies left over. And I suspect they are all near this final house. Fortifying ourselves. Roger. 
And let's give them a hard time. Yep, there are more enemies. The final pack is killed, that's good. These guys are not triggered yet, so might as well want to keep it that way. <coughs> Alternatively. I think we're just not triggering them now. Not a problem. We'll get to them in a moment. There is another pack on that other house, like you can see them here. Another yellow alert shenanigan where they are just rushing into you. I'm taking fire. Beautiful. I think I'm bleeding. Get some of them down. The Archon is a problem. Would love to get the mech down, but that is not in reach. Two, four, six, eight. That's a kill. Target eliminated. And that's removing Overwatch. That is not good. Let's go for the Archon. I hate dealing with them anyways. Alright, come on, another hit. And we're good. Can't ask for more. Well done, Sam. Kill. Okay, I'll go. 
Getting rid of suppression. Either of them burns? No? We still have a pretty gnarly mech there. Mutants. Very nice. Let's first and foremost take care of the mutants. Ready to engage. The mech is a bit of a problem. And I think we can figure out a way as well to deal with it. <clears throat> For now, the mutants need to die. Very nice. Very nice. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Uh, that's not enough. Let's do dead eye. And reposition over here. to here kills this guy okay and what we want to do is move the group together let the advent mech come to us <laughs> Blast padding, my my dude. Blast padding. Cool. Here I come. Starting to hit it. And now we're moving up. A bit of rapid fire. Hundred percent kills the mech. Target eliminated. This is Avenger. Status confirmed. Area secure. Okay. Look, could it have been cleaner? Sure. Uh, was it a good idea to take two uh, to that final pack of Centurions and so on? Absolutely. Johnny took some damage and we're looking at seven days wounded. Not perfect. Jeranks. Uh, mm, Salvo would be great. He does need to choose anyways because <clears throat> he's part of the Grey Knights. But that would be good. The defense isn't bad either. Free defense, absolutely insanely good. And that is great as well. You could, in a sense, 
um, start burning, then using your rocket and then still shooting. That's a huge action economy, but at the same time <clears throat> he's going to burn through uh, all of his stuff relatively quickly. Bunker Buster is a must, but I also like Rapid Fire. Then he got Dead Eye, which for this weapon will still deal some damage. And we could make him an off shooter, as uh, as in Shredder plus Dead Eye. Has a small weapon, but um, with rapid fire, nonetheless, good support. Hmm. And we can <coughs> still increase uh, the um, rocket damage once we do have heavy armor. Uh, he has two rockets and then on top of it the concussion rocket and the bunker buster. So yeah, it's well warranted to have salvo. Three Alarium cores, very good. Overall, oh, 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 very good uh, mission, the only problem is that Johnny Five is now injured for a while, which means this year is not going to happen until Johnny Five is back. Just double checking squad management. Look, they are tired anyway, so in the next 10 days uh, can't use them and I need a strong team to infiltrate so maybe the prime grey knights will do it after their current infiltration but yeah we need any any of uh, the uh, two uh, top chapters grey knights or blood angels to do the uh, assault we're continuing to heal faster And we might be able to play this ambush. Um, you know what? I'll play this off screen. Uh, the ambushes aren't really that uh, uh, great. It's always just get people out and then that's it. Very repetitive mission. Uh, they have fixed parts of it, but it's not that uh, great. So let me play this off screen. I want to do a little bit more strategy layer and work through that because I think we're making decent progress at the moment. All right. Like Fabulous, we got a promotion out of it. Avatar project has been reduced by one, unfortunately not by two. And we're going to see what else we can do. That'll happen in a second, but we have a couple of things that we need to do logistically. Number one. You do have a soldier bond with another sharpshooter that's still not happening. I won't allow this love to uh, to blossom, to flourish. Oh, he has 30 AP. Mm -hmm. We'll save all of that for level. Uh, not bad either. I mean... All of this is fine, but level is just great. Uh, we're going to take that eye again, foiler, and we would be ready to upgrade the bond, but we need you to run more missions. So for starters, cannon and paladin. So Euler and Igor are going to move out of the Space Wolves. Space Wolves are now back to their normal roster, as you can see. And that is fine. Let's check the resistance ring. So I think we need to increase the hunt for the Chosens. Got another reduction of uh, the Avatar project, while wow, failure rate is skyrocketing. 
resistance contacts. This one is good, I like it. That isn't bad either. And that one would be needed as well. So I think we're just going to increase the hunt for the chosen at the moment. And Euler plus Paladin are the right ones to reduce that to nine days. Then we'll just put, wait, wait there's no failure chance, right? Okay, so we could can put anyone on uh, on this mission. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then how about putting a bit of a rookie there? I'm thinking Halo might be a good choice. Get him some extra experience. Now, we're maybe using a sergeant because that's not a bad idea as well or we're just going to do standard as always and let Aziz al Dar uh, uh, do that so I think we're good they are equipped I know they can uh, do that and let's just give them nine days to locate the stronghold that's good 11 days until supply drop which means we can uh, still do the reduction uh, quest. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Both of them, um, Sam does have Johnny Five as a bond mate, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's just double check. But he's wounded, so that couldn't be the case. No, they are not bond mates. Sam Arglide and uh, his friend Noah. Noah is also wounded. Okay, now I'm confused. Who's this? Let's start that. And who's. Okay, bond training and his bond mate is Ataxia. Ah, I see. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Sure, uh, those two can uh, can and should intensify their bond. Ataxia has been sort of quote unquote abused to always train the rookies. But uh, yeah, that totally makes sense. Okay, cool. Coil guns, three more days, and we are rocking on. I would like to continue healing because that's our biggest challenge at the moment. Just getting everybody back in, in action, reducing tiredness and so on. Heck, the workstation might as well have um, infiltrate a little bit more. Oh, and finally we get uh, some options here. So, Ranger, Sergeant Ranger and an Intel package. That is great. That's a good mission for a beginner team. Very light baseline. So, we're good. Imperial Fists. Nah, Ataxia. I just realized the errors of my ways. Um, you cannot bond train because I need you to train the others. I'm so sorry. The two of you will need to wait. Okay, this looks like an illust illustrative uh, set of people going in. Um, wait, wait, wait. Um, 
Imperial Fists. Did I do a mistake here? So we got a Sergeant Dinger and a Sergeant Baldilox. You should no longer be an other uh, SWAT because you cannot receive promotions. Rookies are fine. Good, let's try this again. This looks like a good team and we might need to add a Psy operator for good measure. Matt here looks like he could use some training. Let me fix this real quick. Good, we got the team equipped and are ready to go. It should be plenty of damage and uh, we are getting a ranger in return which is fantastic plus all of these guys will get a promotion and that's really what the imperial fists are about run easy missions and get everybody to sergeant rank Good. Avatar project is looking a bit out of control, so we need to fix that. Um, not happening in one day 14 hours. There's another ranger done with their training. Uh, do we, for starters, have a recruitment? New. No. Secondly, no more rookie either. Okay, um, well, not a very great selection, we'll get you a PCS later. Western US, good. We're recruiting further, which is perfect. Continuing to recruit. And we now need to launch uh, this mission, which had been infiltrated by the uh, Grey Knights. So that'll be an interesting <clears throat> fight nonetheless. We're going to do that right away. There is still, we're still not getting enough missions overall to completely, uh, f um, to completely utilize everyone, but that's fine. At the moment, we're still okay. Uh, there is a maximum amount of missions that is happening anyways. And I think our squads are dealing with them very well. At the moment, we have four infiltrating, mind you. The only reason why we don't have a fifth one infiltrating into the um, HQ in India is because people are tired. And if you look at the wounded status here, Space Wolves are not really in an absolute great sh uh, shape to do the mission. We got the Salamanders, so we in reality have one, um, one um, chapter that could uh, work. In terms of additional chapters, uh, the Iron Hands could use a Ranger, an Assault, a Specialist. Okay, we're getting there. So you can see we're building up our seventh uh, chapter. A very good uh, first start and is with the Imperial Fist, this, um, people here are beginning to move out of uh, that SWAT. We uh, can put them into the Iron Hands and essentially recruit additional uh, people there. We're now solidly in mid-game, so I still continue the recruitment, but uh, at some point I think we don't necessarily need that many more recruits. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm always a big fan of having more soldiers uh, than and comparably than less because you never know a long war 
is a taxing game when it comes to just roster depth and a single squad wipe could or a single chapter uh, wipe could um, uh, could uh, mean a lot coil guns are coming soon we have plenty of uh, resources plenty more to come but i also want to do the liberations because that will drive income with more income we can snowball into plasma weapons and that's really what i want to do so i'm thinking that we're going all the way <clears throat> to plasma weapons and essentially start building those plus a couple of coil guns almost skipping the magnetic tier um, we have a couple of weapons and that's fine we can use them for the rookies but um, other than that i think we're going for coil and for uh, big fat plasma weapons because uh, enemies are ramping up and we need more firepower more poo poo Good. That's it for today. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next episode and take good care. Bye. Bye